to Fred Scott once again bringing you 3-2-1A State Wrestling Championships. I want to say a special congratulations, Fred, to you and the crew. Uh, our broadcast from last year won an award, a state award from the Kansas Association of Broadcasters. I guess we must do something right. Well, hopefully we do it right. We've got a lot of exciting wrestling action going on. It's been a beautiful day here in Hayes today. We had some snow in the forecast, but the weather worked out just perfect. And as you take a look around Gross Memorial Coliseum, those fans are out in force. They were able to make it on the roads. We have a beautiful day, no problems as far as driving. And the house is packed with a lot of boisterous fans. Plenty of folks here. We've had a, a really good turnout uh, yesterday and today for the matches. We're ready to get started with the 103 weight class. Wrestling is Derek Jones, a freshman from Hoxie, and Brent Vandenberry, a junior from Norton. Now this is a rematch from the regionals in Leota where Brandon Berry beat Jones. So we're in for a good match here today. Yeah, it, it was a good match last weekend. It'll be another one this evening. Uh, of course, Jones, uh, being a freshman, is here for the first time. And Brandy Berry is here for the uh, third time. He did not place the freshman last year. He got fourth at this weight class. And, and uh, he's 30-3 uh, and three coming in. He's lost to a couple of, uh, well, uh, to a 4A wrestler twice and to a 6A wrestler once. And, of course, Jones is 26-9 uh, uh, and nine coming in. And they've only wrestled once this year. Got a takedown there by Brandy Berry. Jones in the red singlet. And Brandon Berry will be wearing the blue and the gold, the Norton blue and gold. And of course, John... Norton uh, and Hoxie both in the team race here a little bit. Uh, we'd have to say that St. Francis probably has a, a kind of a lock on first place, but it's numerically possible that uh, Norton could beat him. But, well, the, uh, the three teams that you mentioned, Fred, have uh, quite a few wrestlers here in the finals. Norton, Hoxie, and St. Francis all are uh, bottled up there. First, second, and third place. St. Francis in first, Hoxie in second. Norton in third right now, but as we were talking about before uh, the matches began, uh, that's going to flip-flop around quite a bit here as the uh, evening goes on. Yeah, interestingly, Norton's in third place right now, but they have five in the finals. St. Francis in first, they only have four, and Hoxie's in second place, and they have three. They had some come through the back door and uh, placed this afternoon, so that put them back up in second place. Brandy Berry pretty much in control here. He's a junior and uh, had a very good season, very. Jones is a young wrestler, just a freshman from Hoxie, did very, very well in the tournament yesterday, looked very impressive, and he's got a uh, couple of years ahead of him. Yeah, the three, uh, the three wrestlers that Hoxie has in the finals, I believe we have uh, two sophomores and a freshman, so uh, Coach Kirk Baker's pretty happy about that for next year. Kirk Baker, the coach of Hoxie, Norton's coach, Bill Johnson. We're ready for the second period now. We're at the 103 weight class as we get things started. The 3-2-1A State Wrestling Championship from Hayes, Kansas. Now both those coaches are excellent wrestlers in their own right. They both were former state champions here in Kansas. And uh, so uh, they're passing their knowledge on to these young men. Brandy Berry's trying to come around there. And of course, uh, Jones is hoping he can hang on to that, but he's lost his hold on the head so and loses the reversal. And makes Brandy Berry will pick up two more points. That makes the score four to nothing now. Brandy Berry over Jones, 131 in the second period. Brandy Berry's trying to work that cradle in there that he likes so well so he can uh, run the score up a little bit. Well, he had his hands locked, and Jones was able to break them. Jones trying to get a base underneath. Hasn't been able to do so. Of course, Brandy Berry quite a bit taller than Jones. Uh, some people consider that an advantage. Some people consider it a disadvantage. So well, it, it depends it, on the wrestling style. I noticed him wrestling yesterday and wrestling here this evening. He uses his arms and his legs quite a bit. He has, it looks like he does have the height advantage and he knows how to use those arms and legs. For the leverage. leverage there. And there comes Jones with a reversal out of those legs. Jones will pick up a couple of points. 4-2 now the score. 
Brandeberry still up by two. 30 seconds left in the second period. We expected a good match. Jones is trying to lock up his own cradle now. He'll go out of bounds. We predicted that the crowd was going to get very vocal tonight, and those Oxy fans haven't let us down. We've got Hoxie uh, up in front of us and Norton right behind us, so we're kind of caught in the middle. <laughs> well, as long as they don't start throwing things at each other, we're all right, John. All the fans have been just outstanding uh, all weekend long. Yeah, they've been pretty willing to let the kids out on the mat take care of all the uh, contests. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. We're winding down the second period now in the 103 weight class. Brandeberry right now up by two, four, two. But Jones had a good second period, Fred. Yes, and he's going to take down the third period and hope he can tie it up and maybe go ahead with a near fall. Saw so Coach Baker giving that signal to go down just as soon as the time ran out. And Jones will be in the down position. Brandeberry up on top. This is a close match. Again, last week, Randy Berry won at uh, regionals, but that doesn't mean anything here tonight. Got a caution on Brandy Berry, got into the wrong position. We start the third period now. Derek Jones in the down position, Brandy Berry on top. Jones started out there with his switch, wasn't getting anywhere, and uh, Coach Baker told him to turn back the other way to get back on his base, so come back to this point trying to base up again. Brandy Berry trying to get that chicken wing in there and uh, rock him over to his shoulders to pick up some near fall points. Again using the arms and legs. 125 on the clock in the third period. Brandy Berry looks like he's in control again here in the third period. He's got a definite leverage advantage here but uh, so far he hasn't been able to really put it to much use and he tries for that thread in the needle and here comes Jones with another reversal if he's able to pull it off he's almost there he's got him locked into the legs if he can come around and keep from losing his balance Brandy Berry's got shape. those legs out it's it's hard for Jones to get that reversal but Brandy Berry's flattened out on him there and got him stretched out and he just doesn't have the strength to pull it back in from that position just about 45 seconds left now in the third period. Brandeberry's still up by two points, and it looks like he's back in control now of Derek Jones. Got his legs in now, trying to trying to turn him once more. Jones has 30 seconds now to work on that reversal, but Brandeberry really has good position on him. And they call a stalemate there, so we're going to get a fresh start and give the uh, Gives the boys a chance to get some real wrestling going here. Well, I've got to think that's in Derek Jones' favor well, it has to, to get be, a fresh start it has at to it. help. Got a nice switch going there. If he can get the leverage, get his hips there. out and make it work. Of course, Brandy Berry's got that arm behind him, and that's pretty hard to work against. There he comes with a standing switch. Almost there. Not going to make it. Nope. Not going to make it there. Almost had it. That's unfortunate. He threw an excellent standing switch there, but the, I think the height got him that time, John. Unfortunate for Jones, but congratulations to Brent Brandyberry. 4-2, to two, the final score in the 103 weight class. Brent Brandyberry, the junior from Norton, is our state championship at 103. Excellent match there. Gave us excellent action match. all the way down to the last seconds. We'll get to... Uh, watch those two wrestlers again next year i'm sure back here for the state championship next year two outstanding wrestlers we go to the 112